Dance is here, and it is uh, Wednesday, uh, June 25th, and I've uh, been home for a little while, ate dinner. Um, if you saw my video that I posted on my uh, profile on my Facebook wall, um, you'll see that I had uh, many quesadillas. But um, tonight, I'm talking about um, me having gone to the dentist. As you know, if you've been following me, um, I've been trying to work on getting some things taken care of in relation to my teeth and stuff because of things gone, that have gone on in the past uh, over the last few years of uh, not having insurance and stuff and having been unemployed and underemployed so I'm back working on that but when you have insurance that kind of limits you and you use a lot of it up in the beginning because you're still in the process but then you have other things you have to do and you only have a thousand dollars max it gets hard sometimes to be able to move forward and do the things you want to do but I was there for a different reason today because last year when I was at my dentist, um, I got involved in a case study for a new product that may be coming out. Now, normally I don't do things like that. I don't get involved in things like that because eh, I just don't like doing those things. I really just don't, um, you know, I don't mind giving feedback on things and stuff every now and then. I usually don't do much in the way of surveys. Unless it's like a kind of fun, silly survey. Um, even when I get surveys from businesses I do, very rarely do I ever answer them or get involved with them. Once in a blue moon, if maybe I just called for something specific and felt the information might be back, good feedback to help them improve on something that I didn't really like. But getting involved in this case study, which to me is another form of feedback, another way of finding out if something's um, it was for some uh, new type of toothpaste that I think is going to be coming out, but in this case it involved two bottle, two tubes instead of using one tube. But I reluctantly did it because uh, how my dentist approached it was that at the end of the year long period I would get something out of it in return for having been a part of it. Um, I didn't have to do anything except take part in the case study and provide what I thought about it, how I felt about it. Um, and overall, I, I like the product. I think it's going to be a good product. Um, I'm still using it. Um, and I'll get told whether or not they're going forward with it or something or, you know. Um, so we'll see in the next few months how that goes. Um, but w what I got out of it was actually this nice little Oral B, wrong size of the box, um, spin brush which will help with my um, brushing and keeping my mouth and stuff. I thought that would be a good, nice return on taking the time to, you know, so I stepped out of my comfort zone of doing something I don't really like to do normally and don't like to get involved in to get an ultimate reward that will help and benefit me. And I think that's, you know, says a lot of me getting outside comfort zones and moving into realms of areas that, um, I don't really get into a lot um, but that might be something where you're at you might be in um, thinking of wanting to do new things or build something or do something different with your life but you're just afraid to get out there and do it because you don't know the results you don't know what it's like well I didn't know what the results were going to be of trying this toothpaste or these two these two tubes that work together you have to use one one and in this particular order you can't use the other one first and then use the other one you have to use one and then the other and do it and so in that normally I like to just get up brush my teeth at night brush my teeth you know all that I'm not really into so out of that but I got this and it's really cool because I decided to step out and do it um, but like with my business, when I first got introduced to network marketing and home-based business interest, uh, industry about 15 years ago, I loved the concept, but I didn't stick around to see the results. Well, this is part of the results by sticking around and doing the study for the whole year, the case study. And the other part is finding out whether or not my input and my stuff is going to help bring this product maybe to um, fruition. So in that that's part of how when you are out there building your dreams be your you know chasing after your dreams and wanting to go after them uh sometimes you have to really step outside of yourself and go there and just like a lot of the big um 
people from the past having set dreams and stuff, you know, like, you know, Henry Ford with the um, first car. You know, a lot of people said those weren't would never catch on, that people would, you know, stick to, you know, horse and buggies and stuff and things like that. Um, you know, and other things. Um, another thing, you know, man never thought he'd, you know, fly, let alone reach the moon. Well, Orville and Wilbur Wright, you know, were in a, actually a contest to, with somebody else that had more money, more uh, resources, more things for building a plane, the first plane, but yet they're the ones that did it and got it right. Whereas this other uh, entrepreneur had all the resources and they had very limited resources and they didn't have all the skills and training that he had, but they did it first. They went out on a limb. They went outside. They did what they needed to do to get it done. Um, you know, in the race to get to the moon, you know, we were kind of, be from what I've learned and understand over the years, we were kind of behind the race a little bit. And then we finally put all our energy and efforts as a country into getting to the moon and we got there first um i think a lot of times people look at what you know it could cost them or what it might l lose or what it might mean to do that and they're so afraid or they listen to all this in their head um that it gets in the way um with this this just I, once again solidified where i'm at because i've been where i'm at you know doing this for two years having success but wanting bigger success and it's just building and pushing and growing myself more and that's what i think people have troubles with really digging deep down because sometimes we get so complacent and so comfortable and so okay with where we're at that we don't want to step outside and that we don't want to push ourselves because you know we're so afraid um so with that doing this today and going to the dentist it just kind of brought this back to the forefront of you know what I've gone through things I've gone through why I'm doing this and I just thought I'd share this from another perspective uh, with you so make it simply simple day I know this is a little bit of a longer video so I'll talk to you later um, as always my information is below as you're ready to you know uh, maybe spin into a new uh, life and dreams and catching chasing them and finding that bright new future you know click on the links below and get the information i'm more than happy to help you and i'll talk to you later thanks bye